<laughs> Let's check this out. Make sure we're live. Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. And today we're doing a comic book haul. Okay, not a comic book haul, but comic book hauls. I'm gonna show you two sort of buys that I did. I got a box here. Okay. CGC buy. Okay, that we bought off eBay. This comic book is one of the most expensive comic books I've bought in probably the top five. Okay, top five, definitely in the top 10, but most likely in the top five uh, comic books, most expensive comic books in terms of me paying this much for it. Okay, and behind me is stacks of some of the cheapest comic books I've ever bought in my life. <laughs> 25 cents a pop okay and i'm going to show you all these now before we go ahead and uh, cover the comic book haul and I'm, i've read some of the comics from this haul as well okay there's just a stack there so i'm going to show you what it is that i've ended up reading from this haul i'm not sure how much of this i'm going to end up reading but there's a whole bunch of stuff here that i want to read okay uh while we wait for notifications to go out uh what i'm going to do i'm just going to do my little intro and uh if you want to know who i am uh what i'm up to i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o you can follow this work here uh on patreon and uh I don't put anything behind behind a paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. If you want to support this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. And the main thesis, main uh, sort of the core uh, thing that we are talking about, uh, sort of my whole channel is based on the root of it is mathematics, right? So all of this is being layered on the mathematics, and it is beautiful and it is brilliant uh so if you do enjoy this work uh supporting this work through patreon is a fantastic way to make sure this work continues hey can we also talk about college or uh in tomorrow uh better time uh, you know what uh k2 riz riz k2 did you post it on discord we can talk about it tomorrow today let's focus on comic books and a little bit about the well it's not going to be mathematics this is simple mathematics 25 cents a pop and this one here and most expensive one of the most expensive comics i bought holden who's how are you doing and thank you very much for the tier one sub okay uh so for sure tomorrow we can talk about it and just to fill people in uh risk to uh, just asked if we could talk about uh, college uh what it's like what you should watch out for some of the pitfalls uh, some of the things you have to consider and how to approach education at university or college and stuff like this post-secondary and we can definitely talk about that tomorrow um, if that's okay uh, k2 uh, i hope that's okay okay and if you want to follow this work back to the intro that i'm doing if you want to follow this work live and participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at nights of old comic good morning good morning how are you doing less smoky today by the way Okay, great. Appreciate it. My pleasure. My pleasure, K2. And thank you uh, for holding off until uh, tomorrow. And tomorrow, for those of you that might be watching this tomorrow, we're doing a uh, new school year has started. So we're doing, uh, we're starting off our math drop and tutoring sessions. And we start tomorrow and the odds are we're going to do one, one every session that we announce uh, in terms of live streams. Okay. Felix, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, I've almost finished my week, first week of college so far. I'm really enjoying it. Nice. I was looking forward to meeting new people in class, but it's kind of difficult with the COVID par uh, par um, parameters. I'm studying math, biology, and politics, and they're all great so far. Awesome. Awesome, Felix. Glad to hear it. And it is an amazing experience if you treat it right, right? And I can tell you my experience with university and stuff. Spider-Man, are you doing? You're here for the comic book halls. <laughs> awesome. Ultras. Hello, Chicho. I'm at work right now. All being in and out of the stream. Awesome, Ultras. And welcome back, by the way. Nice to have you back, brother. Uh, you, were, you were missing in action for a while. and Life gets busy, right? So glad to have you back. Hey everyone, hello Chicho. New setup. Yeah, it's sort of the liqueur cabinet. And by the way, take a look at this. 
see all the jars back here those are all the new liqueur that I've made this year I went through 100 minimum uh, 180 200 ounces of vodka that we've made liqueur with and I got a couple other batches that I need to make so once these guys settle we're probably gonna have this exact setup and uh, we're gonna do a little bit of sampling of the new liqueurs <laughs> Dress to maladras to okay. I'm here. You can start now. Nice <laughs> Cheryl. How are you doing? Hey Chicho all Jade of Jaded Mask. How are you doing? Greetings. Good to see you. As always, brother. You too. You too, mask. You too. Elder God, how's it going? New Chicho view and another haircut. Yeah, I gave myself a trim. It was awesome. It was good. Awesome to do. Tyson Terror. Welcome, welcome. So if you want to participate in these live streams. Twitch is where you want to be at. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. Felix, I was going in a negative mindset at first, but I started to think of all the potential positives of college, new friends, subjects, maybe meeting a girl or two or three, etc. And now I'm excited for the for for the next two years. Awesome. Have you guys seen the fires? Oh, we've been getting the smoke in Victoria. Uh, and we had the smoke. Uh, you can see it during sunrise it's a haze like west coast of the united states is burning crazy crazy i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lo minds vk parlor gab and twitter okay for now if you want to follow this work and uh take a look at some of the stuff that we're sharing you can follow on those platforms and the links will be in the description of this video for the live streams where we don't have any visuals when i'm recording with the lapel mic we will be uploading the audio to soundcloud soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o yeah yeah you live in oregon tyson man oregon uh, we know people in oregon uh, they're about to get the evacuation and they don't know if they're gonna they're gonna have a home to come back to and they're uh, farmers too so their crops are going to be done for uh, and some of it is harvest season like Oregon uh, there are people that can grow cannabis illegally and those farmers that are growing cannabis illegally if you're growing outdoors it's harvest season coming up in the next few weeks fire comes through that's done for right Seattle area yeah I have lots of family evac uh, evacuating I'm assuming yeah yeah unfortunate unfortunate Felix all those uh, are those the fires that started because of an over-the-top uh, gender reveal I don't know I heard that a family made a cannon that was supposed to shoot out blue smoke and end up turning into a pipe bomb would start up I don't know I'm assuming you're joking around um, Felix and we will be uploading this video to YouTube and BitChute. And if you want to support this work, you can follow on YouTube, BitChute, like, share. And if you are on YouTube, you can join YouTube membership. Okay. So basically, Elder God says, so basically a giant bong. <laughs> Tyson Terror, yeah, that's part of it. Was it? Wow, wow, wow. Half, it's just, I looked at the satellite image of the West Coast. Of the United States and it looks like bonfires like wow crazy he's not joking around he's not joking around crazy that definitely happened in California wow insanity I gotta look that up <laughs> that's that's insane I think the fire from that gender reveal cannon has burnt over 2,000 acres already I'm following different news I guess I'm following Julian Assange markets oil commodities uh, what's going on in Eastern Europe Middle East uh, and the economics of everything that's taking place with the trade wars and stuff so this gender stuff I don't really follow it doesn't register with me it's weird to me money hey chicho hope you're doing well man doing well doing well people are saying uh, people started them on purpose Psh, crazy just rake the forest right 
I'll take care of it for sure. <laughs> Let me take the Cheryl says. Let me take this down. Insanity. Gang, let's talk comics. Let me show you what I got. Let me show you. Free Assange. No 175 years. And Assange's trial has been postponed. And by the way, uh, I mentioned that as soon as you know we're getting a lot of subscribers coming on youtube and we're getting promoted and stuff like this as soon as we start talking julian assange phew, done for right so every time we talk we do julian assange we did the julian assange comic book reading and we talked about julian assange we're talking about julian assange right now youtube d demotes us doesn't you know they don't promote us anymore right so be it okay imagine being the kid uh, whose gender reveal burned down 2,000 acres. What a le what? It's insane. Sorry, bro. No, no worries, uh, Tyson. It's to me, it's weird. To me, it's just crazy. Uh, it's hum human, humans are humans. We're that's like that is what it is, right? Gang, comic book hall. Okay, now this thing's gonna have a little bit of hard time focusing uh free assange and snowden right a little hard time focusing because of the window back here okay uh catholic traditionalists thank you very much for twitch prime sub uh because of the window back here but what we're gonna do is comic book halls right now in this comic book hall we have in this i hope it's the right box <laughs> it's the only one i was expecting in this we have a cgc buy okay it is one of the top five uh mo top mo five most expensive comics i've bought right at least in the top 10 most likely in the top five okay and back here behind me is some of the cheapest comic books i've bought and in here are 25 cent comic books okay and the way i got my hands on these a comic shop local comic shop is going through their storage and they're unloading they're putting boxes out in on the curb okay he's just bringing boxes out putting them down 25 cents a pop and you can just go through and pick them right i've gone four times so far i i don't have disposable money left with this buy and this buy and stuff i've hit my comic book budget comic book haul budget and a little over but i couldn't pass it up right so I went there and went through a whole bunch of 25 cent comic book boxes. I wish I could go again, but I'm not, right? You, you gotta I mean stay within your limits, right? A legendary Rob Boss. As an American hero. Indeed. Uh, legendary Rob Boss. How do you manage to keep all of your indoor plants from dying or getting sick? Do you get enough sunlight? Uh, do you ha uh, have. Uh, ceiling sky window yeah we have we got amazing light in our space and you know what a lot of these plants they came from other places that i had like this this plant that you see behind me that's been with me uh with the family for i don't know like 30 years right and one of the tricks to keeping plants indoor plants healthy okay don't over water water bear a lot of people go around watering every day you don't need to water every day you don't need the plants don't need to get the roots soaked every day right some of the plants i have i don't water for like a week right so i keep them on low water uh, and they seem to be doing really well okay they see and every now and then i water a lot give them a nice nice amount of water right you make my life better chicho awesome <laughs> glad to help man i've never owned many comics but i used to love making them cool 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 good afternoon folks i am glad to be able to catch a stream today awesome catholic tradition it's glad to have you i have found uh, some game uh, gems in 25 cent but yeah i have it's rare I, I don't think i've ever gone to a comic shop where i bought 25 cent comics and this is 25 cent canadian comes out to about 19 cents us <laughs> right <laughs> i linking divinity how are you doing i'm going to do a chicho drawing nice awesome felix when i have enough time of chicho and the army of revolutionary chichonia striking down the technocrat elite <laughs> yes please post it let's do a cgc comic book haul game 
Okay. Now this comic book. Let me tell you the price of this comic book. Okay. Should I tell you the price on it first? Let's tell you the price on it first. This book here cost me $177, $178 Canadian. Okay, there was $9 tax on it plus $22 in shipping, right? Total came out to $208 Canadian, which is around $160 US. That's the price of this. All of the books back here probably cost, well, no, they did cost less than this. Okay, so let's crack this open and I'm going to tell you what it is after we crack it open. Spot of tea, how are you doing? You're gonna love these spotty. Check this out. Yeah, let me bring out the stool here. That way I do it here. So you guys see, okay, I can read the chat. And it's crazy, the guy sent it in a gigantic box, like huge. Packaged it, like, oh, weird. Look at this. So he packaged it like this, right? Just nice. I'm gonna pull it out. Throw these guys here. Nice. And this is a golden age comic, by the way. Okay. So I'm gonna make the text bigger. Golden age. Nice old comic. This thing. Yeah, well, let me bring it out. Okay. Let me bring it out and tell you what it is. I'll read the description on it. Nice packaging. Awesome. That's what you expect for a heavy buy like this. CGC graded at six. 1949. Brenda Star. Look at this beauty. Look at this thing. And the cover for this is absolutely beautiful. Like the only reason it got a six is because it's got a little nick there. Let me see. See that? Right? 1949. Yeah. So Brenda Star, and this is the last issue of the series. This is Brenda Star number 12. Okay. You're going to get a lot of glare on this. Brenda Star number 12. Uh, and again, it costs uh, total in shipping taxes and stuff like this, $160 US, $208 Canadian. And this is the last of the series. This is volume two. Volume one, uh, uh, great guy, thanks for the follow. Uh, volume one only had two issues, and they came out, that came out in 1947-48. And this thing came out, uh, it's 12 issues, came out 1948-1949, or 1940s, yeah, 1948-1949. Okay, and this is one of the Saudi books or Saudi titles. This issue actually wasn't, and Saudi is uh, Seduction of the Innocence, where the Joe Schmuck that wrote the book that uh, said comic books are polluting people's minds. It, there was a Brenda Starr comic book that from this series, okay, that he said was, you know, he, he references something that's polluting kids' mind. Graham Ahoy, right? So this is fantastic. Okay, last superior, and this is superior comics. Take a look. This brand here, or this publishing company here. Okay, and it's it's a part of Five Star Comics from the Golden Age of Comics. Now I don't know. Yeah, are you familiar with it, Elder God? I'm not that familiar with Brenda Star. Brenda Star is this blonde girl here, or not blonde, the redheaded girl here, right, wearing a gold dress. And she's supposed to be uh, American journalist, right? And she had a comic strip that started in newspapers that was syndicated that started in 1940s. And then uh, 1940, actually, I think it was June or something, 1940, that was syndicated, that was running in newspaper columns, right? Newspapers around the United States, and then in the 1940s, they started making comic books of it and compiling some of the comic book strips and whatnot, right? So it was pretty uh, popular and pretty famous. And 
the price we got this for a really great deal okay it was a good deal it was a very good deal okay so very happy to have this in the collection let me crack it open out of this check out the case Make sure the case doesn't have any cracks or anything in it, right? And what I do before I buy CGC graded books, right? In the listing, there's, you know, they should show this number that's up here. So what I end up doing is going into CGC and punching this number, making sure that this is in their database, okay? Is that what ended up uh, setting up the comic code authority? It, it was one of the references, right? And the reference, I believe, uh, there's two covers, actually more covers of Brenda Starr that fetch a pretty serious price, right? One of them is from the first series where it's a bondage cover. And that one is crazy expensive. It's like in at grade six, if it was CGC grade at six, it would fetch like two grand or something or more, right? So there's one bondage cover where she's sitting back like this from this first series, issue number 13. I don't know if that was referenced, but I know that, uh, I forget what issue number it is. Um, let me see, I think I have it marked here. Uh, but it's one where she's laying down on a hospital bed. Um, it's, yeah, it is. It's from this series, issue number four, and she's laying down in a hospital bed. And for you guys uh, that are following the, are here live, let me, link up where I'm getting this from and this is from my comic shop and that's from the second series that I'm posting here okay so fantastic very happy to have this the price uh, elder god um, 178 Canadian so basically the whole thing was shipping ended up costing um, uh, 200 $210 Canadian, which ended up being $160 US shipping, taxes, and everything. Okay. Gang, I'm going to get, go get an umbrella from the other room, set it up here so the sun is not going to shine on the camera. It's only going to last a little bit. The sun wasn't out, it was smoky, but now it's shining. Yeah, the spot of tea. The Brenda Star number four is the hospital bed one. And I think that was referenced in the Saudi book that's not bad it's a good price it's a good it's, it was a good deal that's the only reason right how consistent is comic book grading like what's the difference between 9.8 and a 10 um, somebody's hair in the comic <laughs> i don't know like coolio no for me a 9.8 is a 10 a 10 is a 9.8 like and 9.6 is 9.8 and 9.8 is 9.6 I, I go like that, sandwich between two, okay? Let me go get the umbrella so you guys uh, are not going to be blinded by the sun. And then let me put this guy here. I'll be right back. This is this is my indoor stand, heavy duty. Right. And I got a beach umbrella. Let's see. We just want to block it. Make sure we're not going to knock anything. I <laughs> give it a resort feel <laughs> let me put this here i just gotta make sure i don't knock knock it right no i don't uh, coolio i might i don't have any 10 graded books i don't have very many graded books uh so slowly i'm just buying some graded books at some point i will send comic books to be graded i've thought about it but because of what's going on with 
the mail service in the United States and the fires and the elections and just the rent, just the absolute chaos of it. Uh, I'm not going to send books in the mail. It's, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Ver, uh, volume one, issue 14 next year. I know Knights of Old Comic. I would love to get my hands on that bondage cover one. Right. I looked into this a little bit. Uh, so th it's been on my radar, Brenda Starr, just because uh, of the salty issues and stuff like this. So I'm very happy to get this, by the way. Uh, so it is what it is. The morning sun. I see the sun leaving at, uh, at the moment. Yeah, it's coming in. So we'll see what happens. Now, should I show you the 25 cent comic books? Okay. Let me bring these guys here. Let me have a sip of water first. Let me show. Oh, actually, before we do the 25 cent comic books, let me show you what I've read from the stack so far. Okay. Check this out. <clears throat> Here's some comics that I've read. And one of these uh, comics, the pages I linked up through our uh, social media feeds uh, from Cerebus number 50. But it wasn't Cerebus number 50 that I bought. I bought Cerebus Church and State number one all the way to number 10. So I read these in the last week or so. Okay. And it's uh, Cerebus Church and State. Some people would consider this to be his best story arc that he told Dave Sim, right? So Cerebus Church and State number one, number two, And Cerebus is hilarious, super cool. A lot of politics, a lot of economics. Number three, which is, it's Cerebus Church and State, which is reprints of Cerebus number 53, right? So check, take a look. So this is reprint of Cerebus number 53, but because it's one story arc that he's reprinting, went for 25 issues, I believe. He's numbering them according to the sequence, right? I found out about Brenda Starr on an 80s TV series. Just a passing reference got me looking. Really, Elder God? Cool. This is hilarious. This thing. Wolf Roach. It's a sort of a, a Wolverine character, right? And I linked up just four pages on LO Minds, Twitter, Gab, VK, Parlor, right? From this issue. And I thought I was cracking up laughing. It was so funny. It was so funny, right? I don't have too many Cerebus original comics. One day I plan on getting the full run. It's a must have for a comic book collector. Dave Sim was one of the true, uh, he sort of at the beginning stages of the wave of independent comics. Cerebus number one came out in 1978. Uh, 78 I believe 77 or 78 78 I believe okay and he did it all solo and he ran for 300 issues and it's brilliant okay I know there's some controversy regarding Dave Sam but I don't get involved in the controversy on that level okay number nine and number ten and I have one more of issue uh, past number 10. I think it's number 12, but I didn't have number 11. So I didn't. I wanted to read it in order. Okay. Really cool. Nice story arc. Okay. So I've had a read through this. 25 cents a pop. All right. I read the first three issues. Chisho, have you read the Max? Yeah, for sure. And what are your thoughts on it? Uh, so Max, amazing. Sam Keith amazing i love sam keith as as an artist sam keith is one of the greatest comic book artist creators ever okay and i have the first appearance of the max by the way i have two at least two copies and a graded copy i have two rock i should have two raw copies and one graded copy and i'll show you guys that at some point okay this is fashion beast by alan moore okay and malcolm McLaurin. Now, I'm not going to tell you all the stuff that we bring in. I'm just letting you know the details of the ones that I've read. This is issue number one, two, three, 
and these are the only ones that I could find to read. So I read issue one, two, three, and I, I liked it and I mind it. I wouldn't mind reading more, uh, but it wasn't in the pile, right? So I couldn't get my hands on it. Who was asking about manga? Check this out. Venus Wars. Now I've read, I'm on number five and six, I gotta read. I've read one to four. Okay, fantastic. Venus Wars, super fun read, by the way. Super fun read. The Max, your favorite comic? Yeah, fantastic. And the cartoon animation is really good. You really like this view, Elder God? Nice. With the umbrella or without? <laughs> All I need is a little sand beach resort with a beach ball, right? Venus Wars number one, great read. Very good read. Early Dark Horse comics, black and white reprinting some manga right venus wars number two venus wars number three venus wars number four okay. fantastic and it's black and white okay pure manga nice read and i still have five and six to read Okay, so that's where I am with this read. The other two things that I got lined up to read uh, is Ed Brubaker's Fatal. Now I didn't have issue number, it didn't have issue number one. It started off with number 13. So I wouldn't mind reading uh, these five comics. So number 13, because they're in a run. So there were some stuff in these comics that are runs. Some were randoms. Someone would see one and two over here and then three and four over there. So I try to put them together. They're all over the place. Okay. So this is number 13. 14. And Ed Brubaker is worth reading. Did you find me a uh, Nirvana Canadian white? And I don't know. I didn't. <laughs> we need two copies. I want one too. Number 15. Number 16. Number 17. So it's, it's a run. Okay. Oh, I want to mention Re Rest in Beast to Diana Riggs of the Avengers fame. Oh, one of the actors? I don't know. I don't know who that one is, Elder God. And these are the next two I got lined up to read. Hellblazer. Yeah, she was awesome in Game of Thrones too. Which one was she? Diana Riggs. 189. Oh, oh the... Uh, whatchamacallit? She was in Game of Thrones? The TV series Avengers? Elder God, is that what we're talking about? The girl that's dressed in leather and stuff with high heels. She's like the fighter? Emma Peel. Emma Peel, Emma Peel. I gotta remember which one. On, on Her Majesty's Secrets. Uh, she was Lady Tyrell in Game of Thrones. Lady Tyrell. Oh man, me and names. But is she in the Avengers TV series? The one with the, the lady and the guy that are secret agents? The guy wears a hat? Chad, that's her. And Chadwick for sure. Dude, Elder God, I have issue number one of that series. Right? And rest appeals to her. I, I, I really liked her. I love that series, by the way, The Avengers. This is Hellblazer 189. I think it's part one of a story arc. And this is 190. And it's supposed to be a two-parter, I believe. I can't remember. I don't think I've read these ones. Okay, Coolio. I'll look it up. I'll look it up later. But now that I know who it is, don't forget she was in on Her Majesty's Secret Service. I don't I never watched that show, I don't think. Or that movie. So not bad. Stack of reading, right? Already done some of them. You just like a collector in Marvel. You just like collector in Marvel Universe. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh well, I don't. I wouldn't. I would never collect human beings, right? I would never collect human beings. 
the Joker gifted a tier one sub to Elder God. Awesome, thank you very much, Joker. It's a James Bond uh, movie. Oh, then I've seen it. I must have seen it on Her Majesty's Secret Service. She's one of the most important Bond girls. Oh, that's right. With Sean, not Sean Connery. Uh, the guy who ended up being uh, with uh, Roger Moore, right? That was with Roger Moore, was it not? George Le George Less, really? So that was uh, one of the earlier James Bonds. Cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, I forgot she was in a Bond girl. Wow, wow, wow. Should I show you some of these 25 cent comics? Oh, these ones I'll show you. This was my first trip. Ooh. This was my first trip, right? I went to the 25 cent bin. So these are the comics I grabbed on my first go. Now to the, I, I had to check through these and it's, it, it's fine. It's, it, <laughs> there's some nice number one, some manga. I was really looking, uh, Australian guy, 1969. So that was be, before, no, no, that was after Connery. Oh yeah, I forgot she was a Bond girl. Do you have in Indiana Jones comics? I might. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Like I forgot I had X Men number eight. Someone mentioned it. I was like, oh, I don't think I have X Men number. Eight. And I showed it in a comic, you know, not a comic book haul, but in my collection. I'm like, right on. I got X Men number eight. Right. Now in the first buy, I went through, and I got these. Check this out. Body bags number one of four. Okay. And thank you very much for the follows, gang. Follows in the subs, okay, if I'm not catching them. Uh, so thank you very much. Great guy. Do you have? Cool, yeah. So this is body bags number one and body bags number two. I couldn't find number three and four. It's a four issue series, mini series from Dark Horse. And supposedly, this has been optioned for either a TV series or a movie or something. So some places are selling this issue expensive. Some places they're selling them cheap. And this was a great copy. I, I came back and I put it in Mylar because it was a fantastic copy. I mean, it's at least nine, at least a nine, 9.2. Okay. So glad to have this for 25 cents a pop, right? Uh, these are straight out uh, just comic book uh, archival bags. Uh, this one is Mylar. This one, okay. And this one is just a regular comic book bag. Okay. So that's what I'm using. But let me show you some of the other comics I got. Shadowfall number, oh, that's number six. Here's number one and two. So there was a lot of number ones. This is Vertigo. They look crispy. Yeah, the Mylar is crispy. Number two. And then I couldn't find three, four, or five. And then it went to number six. So hopefully I'll get a chance to go back there. Love the Shadow Falls. Do you? Uh, Cheryl, I've never read this. I saw the number one. I was like, okay, I've not, I haven't read this. And it's John Nye Reber. Okay. So... I'll put it aside maybe I'm gonna put one and actually I'm gonna put one two three one two and six aside to maybe have a read through it and by the way gang if you see anything in these in what we're about to look at I'm not sure if we're gonna chance to look at all I, I don't know right that you think requires bagging and boarding because it's maybe a little bit on the expensive side or that I should be reading let me know I'll put it aside and I did bring bags and boards here um, so I can bag and board anything that requires bagging and boarding, right? I was just picking stuff and I picked up a lot of independence, right? A lot of indies from uh, 1980s, 1990s, uh, as many of the epic comics that I could get my hands on from the 1980s, uh, I black and white comics, uh, some stuff I've never seen before. This is Punisher Max 57. Okay. I've read some of this. It's fantastic. 58. I could find 59. And I think this is the last issue. I think it ended with issue number 60. I haven't, I've read the Barracuda story arc. And 
Here's Barracuda number two of five, the mini series. Okay. And I haven't read the mini series of this. Just randoms. Action Comics number 10, new 52. Action Comics number 12, new 52. Okay. Action Comics number 13, new 52. I've never read this. Number one of four, hit 1957 from Boom. Kill or be killed. I've read issue number one. This is issue number two. So I'm looking forward to reading this. And then this is issue number nine. I couldn't find the middle ones. And issue number 13. Okay. So I should put issue number two. Ah, I won't put them aside right now. Batman and Robin, number six. The new 52 Doom was awesome, really. If you haven't read, I haven't read it. Action Comics, oh, wait a second. Oh, no, we already went through that. So number 10, so that's another bunch. I gotta make sure that this isn't gonna fall over. Batman and Robin. Oh, wait a second. Do we have where's the Batman and Robin? Oh, yeah. When I graph stacks, sometimes they're together and they're not. This is Batman and Robin number seven, right? So we had number six and number seven, right? Oops, we'll bring it over here. More Batman, please. All God says, There you go. Batman Incorporated number one. New 52. Chosen. This look cool. I couldn't find number one. I thought maybe I did. I don't know. I could. Oh, yeah, there's number one. Cool. I did find it. Mark Miller. And he's huge. So, Chosen, number one from Dark Horse. Chosen, number two. I don't know this. I haven't read it. Manga Eclipse and Eclipse comics. I was trying to get my hands on a lot, right? As much as I could. Okay. Eclipse bi weekly. What number is this? This is number two. May the Psychic Girl. I've heard of this before. Oh, here's number one. I gotta put these in order. So here's number one. Nice, right? So grabbing f uh, number ones and number twos and just a run. You can read the comics and get a feel for them, right? Any Bronze Age books? In yeah, like this is, uh, this would be in the Bronze Age. I think this came out in 1980s. So Modern Age starts from 1992, I believe, or 1998. So this would be Bronze Age. Number two. Here's a Machine Man, number three. Right? Is Ray by Rookie da, da, da. Story by Kate. Check this out. Here, let me show you this. Let me see if this one's darker. Uh, yeah, this one's darker. So, Story by Kia, Kuzuyo uh, Kudo. And the art by. Yeah, but the art is. Uh, is it the same person you wrote down? No, the art is by someone else. Right, Rochi. Egan Eganami. Okay. So Machine Man, and we got Batman and Robin again. So let me put this over here. I gotta put a little marker here. You know what? Just this. There. That'll keep it. No, I don't think I have Batman Bad Blood. Uh, a truce, Chicho. Have you read the Sa Saduhu uh, 2006 by uh, Gotham Chopra? No, I picked up number one to eight at my local comic shop. Looks interesting. No, I don't know it. <laughs> a spot of tea. There should be. Check this one out. Kit Cannibal number two. Boop. 
Eternity Comics. This is 1980s, I believe. Should be. Bronze equals uh, 1970 to 1984. So modern comics starts from 1985 up? Really? Knights of Old Comic? This is... I do have... Check this out. Let me put these in order. Oh, no. This was... I think I have the number one of this. I picked it up in a later pickup, I think. Okay. Great guy. 1980 up is modern age? No. Can't be. Is there a hero or villain character that manipulates gravity? Yeah, there is. I'm trying to think of one. Uh, yeah, for sure there is. Uh, there is. Uh, well, the vision can do it, right? His own gravity. There is. Uh, so can uh, uh, Kitty Pride, her own gravity, and anybody she touches, right? Uh, there's also one other one that manipulates gravity, makes people things as dense as possible. I can't remember who it is. No, I didn't get any uh, teenage uh, mutant, teenage uh, mutant ninja turtles. Black and white con. No. Copper, 1984 to 1991. Yeah. Yeah, 1991 up modern. Okay, cool. All right. Xenon. I don't know this, but it looks super cool. Eclipse Comics again. Superman. Oh, yeah, I guess anybody that flies manipulates it. Right. So does Faith from Valiant Comics. Xenon number 14. And number 23. And I think I have the number one, two, three of this uh, in one of the other boxes. I have no idea what this is. This is from like 1980s. Dark. Darky wood. Arsel. I just like independence just to see what people created. Right? Lenore. Naughty Bits, number four. Naughty Bits, number 39. <laughs> Scary. This series is fantastic. Check this out. Jamie Delano, John Higgins, World Without End. I've read this. I think I read all 12 issues. I think there's 12 issues. I bought these. I was buying these when they first came out in 1990s, early 19. The artwork is absolutely brilliant. Okay. Like, the artwork is phenomenal. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Super cool. Chicho, Gray and Boa are cool usa manga reprints are, are they gray and boa is that a publishing house fem force up close number four fem force is huge like it's been around for a long time pharaoh city what number is this number two i believe I don't know this image comics. Damned number two. Damned number three. How much? How much comics? Right. Front force again. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, here's Fatal again. Nice. Oh, look at this. Number 10. Awesome. Number 10. Number 21, I should put these with the other film for that. So number 10, number 21, or 22, sorry. Yeah, Viz Publishing. Number four, number 24. So I should put these on the side, put it with uh, the other film for tiles. Check this out. Dark film, dark fiction, dark comic, dark muse. Elvira, I believe. 
number four. 25 cents. Is a Halloween reference number 10? This one. This one is a Halloween reference. Ah. Eyes up, Chicho. <laughs> What's up, Catholic traditionalists? What's this? Oh, eyes up. Ah. <laughs> eyes up, everyone. Wait, wait. Uh, you're, are you being distracted? <laughs> Where is your eye going? I was referencing your previous cover of Elvira. Yeah, I caught it. As soon as Cheryl laughed, I caught it. I was like, what? 25 cents, well worth it. Should we put it on the wall? <laughs> Dark seed. Right. All, skill, all school humor, all school humor. Check out this one. Eclipse Comics again. Axel. Look at this. Saint of Killers from Preacher. Right? I don't have one, two, three. This is number four. Some of the comics you see here, I might have I might have picked up another copy another box because i i remember seeing it i don't know if i bought it preacher show was awesome paul geist kane number 21 independent comics from uh dancing elephant press uh, like very indie very indie right never seen this before so and it looks like it's got it in pounds so i'm assuming this is british Maybe it came out in Britain first, right? I don't know this. Dancing Elephant Press. Yeah. Uh, 1998, published by Monthly Dancing Elephant Press. England. Yeah, this is UK. Wells. P.O. Box, Wells, England. So this is out of England. Very cool. Yuseki Jamocho is one of my favorite but never read the comics yeah the cat or not the bunny what am i cat uh, there's uh, there, there's good comic shops there's three comic shops in the same block in victoria number 23 number 24 so it's a run right as much as possible number 25 it'd be fun to sit down and read right number 29 these are the only ones i could find right oh here's number 31 too right 25 cents a pop very nice very nice right <laughs> nice look at this dark horse comics number seven and these are great by the way look, look at this beautiful 1980s right wells is quite a small place that's pretty cool pretty cool right. so dark horse com dark horse comics number seven number eight this character was pretty cool i read some of the comics uh, from this character x okay it was sort of biggish in the 1980s and 90s and disappeared. Number eight, number nine, Robocop. Who doesn't want a comic book with Robocop on it? Seriously, for 25 cents. Right. Southern Bastards, number two. This is an option, 25 cents. Right? Not bad. MPH, number one, Miller. It's like a number one Miller book. Modern from Image. Right? It's a really good copy. 
This one will be graded at like 8.5. You've never seen Robocop? Oh, spot a T. You gotta watch Robocop. Valiant Comics, Geomancer, right on, number two. Event Publishing, Ash 22 Brides. Seriously, if you've never seen Robocop, you must watch Robocop. Robocop's absolutely amazing. The Justice Machine. Did you hear they're optioning a prequel show to Robocop right now with no Robocop in it? The best response I saw to this news was a tweet that was like, that's just cops in Detroit. <laughs> Coolio says <laughs> hilarious look at this and comical i grabbed as much comical as i could or i could find right comico number 11 or sorry justice machine number 11 from comico and comico was a publishing uh, company that was around 1980s and 90s dark shadows from innovation dark shadows number one and innovation was one as uh, around as well stream keeps freezing i didn't get to hear your response uh did you hear bah, 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 bah? i thought it was funny coolio <laughs> especially detroit man i drove through detroit in the early 1990s it was crazy dark shadows number one again hmm. maybe it's just a different cover i don't know and uh, i saw some of the cops there they were trying to pick they were trying to drive in a pickup truck that means no prisoners dark shadows number two yeah grendel fantastic dark shadows number three right so you get to read these right for 25 cents a pop man fantastic dark shadows number four so it's a run right The Land of Nod, number four. Detroit looks like 1945 Berlin. I saw it in the early 1990s and it was Velvet number two. I have Velvet number one, didn't read it. So I didn't pick up number two. Maybe one day I read it. There are supposed to be great areas in uh, Detroit. It's right across from Hamilton, uh, Canada. Time Twisters from Quality Comics. This looks super cool. Like, look at the artwork here. This has got to be 1980s. Okay. Time Twisters number eight. Dark Horse Presents number 51. I don't think so, Knights of Old Comic. Who's in number 51? Dr. Fate, number 32. Eclipse Monthly, awesome, number three. It's not nearly as bad as its reputation, at least not anymore. It still isn't the best place to live, though, yeah. Martha Washington Goes to War, number one nice any time travel sin city first appearance sin city okay no did not find check this out all of this shade the changing man right shade the changing man number one awesome i have these i've read uh some of these but i totally forgot them shade is fantastic and this was by peter milligan and peter milligan is a fantastic writer right she, like i picked up as much of the shade as i could right, that i could find yeah shade is a fantastic crack good afternoon shade number one number four like look at beautiful covers right trippy 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 Right. number five and i have a run of this uh, shade changing now number seven 
I must have read at least up to 11 or 12 or something. Number eight. But I'm going to give it a read again if I get a chance. You shade the changing as one of my favorite series. Milligan is one of my favorite. Agreed, crack. Peter Milligan is a fantastic writer. So underrated. So underrated. Yeah. Number eight. Number nine. I've forgotten most of this. Oh, here's number two. Awesome. Number two. Right. Number 10. I guess I got to put these in order. Number 11. Brandon McCarthy. And then it goes into the vertical line, I think. 40. 41. Totally change of feel. And who's the writer for this one? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's still Milligan. He did the whole thing, eh? Number 42. John Constantine shows up. 44. Such a cool cover. Look at that. Look at that. What a beautiful cover. Oh, really? He did the latest Mad Max Fury Road movie. Cool. Number 46. Look at that. Who doesn't like psychedelic frogs? Milligan on the entire run. Very cool. Very cool. 47. Beautiful. Lie, lies, loves, and locusts. I haven't read that. Crack, have you read the whole run? Cheryl, have you read the whole run? Number 48. Look at that. Beautiful. Trippy, trippy. Number 49. No, I haven't. At least not yet. At least not yet. My famous last words for me as well. Number 50. Definitely voting for Robocop in the next movie stream, <laughs> Padre. And then back to number one. Very cool, very cool. I got to put number two by number one. Check this out. Picked up some indies. La Perdita, La Perdita, part five, part three, part one. Let me show it to you in order. So here's part one. I don't know what this is. It was independent. It looks super cool. It was in great shape. Number one. Number three. And number five okay cool now let me show you let me put this here i'll put this guy here too now uh, i'm gonna bring another box let's take a look at another box let's put this guy Make room for ourselves. Uh, should I bring out the big box or this box? Let's bring out the common big box. Yeah. It's a full comic book. Yeah. Alright. 25 cents of pop. <laughs> nice. It's like. It's like Christmas, right? Christmas for a comic book collector. I, I wish I could go there today too. Coolio, I have to go for now, Chicho. Stream isn't cooperating. I'll be at the next one for sure though, as it is in the evening and I'll be home. Awesome, awesome. Tomorrow's, yeah, tomorrow will be from 2 till 4, 2.30 until 4.30, right? Check it out. Okay, let's go through this. Now these, the odds, I haven't had a chance 
to even try to put these in order, right? Have a good rest of the stream. Mods keep stuff safe. Awesome. Have a fantastic day, Coolio. 21, 21 dawn, number nine. The Warlord, number 62. This is a great series, by the way. I've read some of it. I don't remember it very much, but I've read some of it. Atlas United. I believe it's a number one. Star Reach, number 12. Strange Killings, that's a cool cover. Number five. Strange Kiss, number two. Star Reach's classic? Yeah, looks like an amazing cover. I don't know this issue. Crap, I don't know this. Looks fantastic. Like, here, let me show you. Oh, that one's not for safe. This is like total sci fi. Nice. I gotta put this one aside. I gotta go through it. Look, look at that. Total sci fi. What was the terms of surface? It's just artwork. Sorry, I'm feeling curious. I'll, I won't show anything like that again. I'm gonna put this one aside. Take a look at it later. Okay. Absolutely. One of the bridges from underground comics to modern indies usually referred to as ground level comics really crack so a bridge between underground comics and modern indies thank you for that strange search very cool oh we already looked at this one this one is uh i don't know what this one was i grabbed it because first of all it's like in mint condition this is the sanctuary by nate neal Totally independent. 2006, right? Oh, this one I can't show either. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so that's this guy. Uh, by the way, if you're publishing your own independent comics, right? Self-publishing, whatever it might be, put the name of the comic on the cover. Not just the number. Put the name of the comic on the cover. You're not Marvel or DC or one of the big boys where you can do virgin covers, no no text, no nothing. You need people to know what your book is, right? Parade, issue number one with fireworks. You don't deal in maybes, don't trust the system. And this was number 21 again. Let me put these guys here. We'll make a stack on the side and then go through these. Flavor, number one. Here, let me make it a smaller stack so I don't. Flavor, number one. Joseph Keating. Epic Comics. The Elsewhere, Elsewhere Prince, number one. Spot of T is asking, is it against uh, terms of service if it's artwork? That means you couldn't walk into any museum in the world and do a live stream because it would go against uh, terms of service, right? Vamps, Hollywood of Maine, number two. Oh, here's Vamps, number one. Cool. I got one and two here. Nice. Number one and two, right? One. Randall, how are you doing? Hello, just going to lurk today. I'm really tired. Hope everyone is awesome, Randall. Lurk away. It's a great stream just to lurk. Look at covers. 
Kinder Natur. Kinder Natur? Kinder Natur, Martin Wells. This is issue, I don't know what this is. This must be issue number four, it says. Here's number two. Yeah, Cheryl's asking a good question. Is it nudity on its own or does it have to be graphic? So that was number one and number two. This looks great. Berserker. Number one from Gauntlet Comics. Look at that. When did this one come up? You can't go wrong with DC Comics Vertigo and Press. No. Always fun to read. When was this one put out? This is 1993. Pure in the pure indie. Very cool. Nice artwork. All right. Look at that. That's the cover, I guess. Cool. The back cover is super cool too. Nice. Black Mask, two of three. DC Comics. I don't know this one. I don't have number one. Dragon Lines, Marvel, heavy hitter, epic comics. So this is 1980s. Very 2000 AD, yeah. Very 2000 AD ish. And here's flavor again. Let's take a look at these ones. Star brand number two, 1980s. Last one, number one, Vertigo again, right? I haven't read this one, I don't know it. Vigilante number three. Pineapple Army, Viz Comics mini-series pineapple army number two viz was pretty cool actually pineapple army number four the last one is such a great mini-series is it number six number eight too bad it's, it's got gaps in it A wire number one DC comics and then back to Starbound. I'm gonna take so the last one is really good I'm gonna put this one aside and have a read through number one one of six thanks for the recommendation crack so I'm gonna put this one aside and maybe have a read through it later All right. if I get the chance it's curry night and pub I will save you a plate of Mongolian beef. Cur oh man, that sounds so good. Beef curry, Mongolian beef curry. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab stacks that I can actually hold it out like this. Pineapple Army has some interesting covers. Yeah, look cool. Sentinel Savage Part 1 Marvel. I don't know this one at all. So these are the Sentinels X-Men, right? So Sentinel Salvage. So I guess she's salvaging parts from the Sentinels. Right? Looks cool. Who wrote this? McKeever Vedder Udon. Butcher? Number one, DC Comics. Echo, Terry Moore. I've read this whole series. I got the graphic or the Omnibus. Fantastic series. Highly recommend reading Echo. The Intimates. I don't know what it is. Thank you for the follow. I, forgot, I didn't catch the name. My apologies. By the time I looked, it was disappearing. Incursion, number one. P 
Platinum Comics. The higher, number one. The higher, number two. What is this? Gen X or Gen 13? Number one, bootleg. I think G, uh, Jim Lee created Gen 13, right? I don't know if this is Jim Lee's art or not. And then back to Sentinel. Nice. I don't know this. Arcana, Arcana Comics. Cade, number one. I'm sorry, Chicho. I tried to watch El Topo, but I was Elder God. I was banging my head against the wall after just 20 minutes. <laughs> I can appreciate that, brother. <laughs> Cade, number one. Look at this one. Eclipse Comics. DN Agents. Awesome. Number six. Volcanic Revolver number one awesome scott morse i don't know this but looks cool try the holy mountain instead yeah holy mountain is to a certain degree trippier well i gotta put these in order this is the in dn agents number three do you have any more dn agents let me put it with the agents over here here is uh what is that gloom cookie number three saga 43 nice saga 14 nice saga 7 47 sorry not 7 47 nice the question the question was a fantastic read as well by the way gang number 19 X mutants, haha, <laughs> number one. Malibu. X mutants, number two. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna get some tries and tries now. E mutant, mutants, E mutants, Eternity, Eternity? Eternity Comics, very nice. E mutants, number one. Cool, cool, cool. This is dragons. Yeah, th these are everything that you see here. Twenty-five cents Canadian a pop. The comic, one of the comic book stores in town, was going through their storage and they decided to dump their comics. Everything twenty-five cents. Champion of Katara. Number one. Very cool. The question is a run I really need to check out. I always hear is really, yeah, I've read some of it again. I haven't read the whole run and the question was fantastic. Yeah, 25, 18 cents US, right? 18 cents US, 25 cents Canadian, 18 cents US. Check out this one. I just want to check out the artwork inside. Volcanic Revolver, the cover was cool, nice there's a lot of good yeah there's a lot of good stuff and some nice runs very independent right and some books that are like ten dollars or so buy them for a quarter ultraverse number one free free i'm gonna put this Volcanic rubber looks neat. Yeah, it looked neat. It's funny because when I was going through the bins, just so I was going through the bins and I was taking my time looking at this cool flip through cool. Other people were there because he had a whole bunch of uh, boxes set up. People were like, rapid, 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 trying to go through it. I'm like, man, just enjoy the experience. Why? Like, <laughs> I would go through four boxes and have enough to carry away for the day and hit my budget and I would walk away, right? I, I did 
all these I did I went to the comic store four times and I bought all of these in the last 10 days two weeks let's say not even two weeks 10 days not 10 days uh, I bought all of these for 25 cents a pop a spot of tea right. <laughs> check this out forgotten realms number one the first series nice for 25 cents very cool very cool i got some other issues of this too oh i went live for an hour and 20 minutes man we've got a lot of comics to go through they want to you know what exactly fan james dude people were pulling marvel and dc out right marvel dc marvel dc marvel dc i'm going through picking out as many indies as i could find <laughs> right independence and uh, like runs i was trying to get runs so i could do reads right uh you know get a run of if it's not from number one to ten like Cerebus church and state get you know a venus number one to eight venus uh what was it called anyway <laughs> the mango one to eight i was getting the fatale of number 10 to 15. i was trying to get runs together to be able to sit down and read and independence and archive some of the stuff right like how many of these comics how many of this are around i don't know like i've never seen this i know i've never seen this and i've gone through dollar bins did you get that 25 cent digger has returned look <laughs> Google wide there's absolutely nothing better than going through the long box after a long box of random cheap books one of my favorite things crack I couldn't agree with you more right forgotten realms number one I'm gonna put this on the side and just going through putting books on the side that you want to read right team one wildcats Oh, from the store or I mean, no, he was, I know the guy. I bought comics from him. He's, he's actually a guy that I buy eBay, eBay books from. So he knows me and he knows I'm there for the love of it. Some of the other people he knows they're there for flipping or whatever. He knows I'm there. And the, 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 tell you the truth, there was a lot of people there that were hardcore collectors just like me. Like just going, oh man, great, great. There, there was, there was a group of people there that are just into comics right that's you know those mom and mom and kids would be their father and kid where the kid is going through picking up books that he wants and the father is picking up books that he wants great feel by the way great feel i just ran across a couple of people that were just like going through a rep so fast so fast so fast um i don't know boris karloff and somebody last on the last match i was in it was this one this this was the one i went to last he recognized me he goes i've seen you before do you have a youtube channel and it was cool i was like oh dude not as easy to browse boxes on the floor as it used to know night of old comics i agree laser i can't even read that press <laughs> look at this thing awesome stop you stop you that's beautiful cover painted cover oh look at this old school 1986 the penumbra penumbra oh look at this Ooh, i love i love this style like look at this just it feels like heavy metal uh cartoon animation right cool vertigo jam number one right just sampling of some of the vertical titles laser eraser and press button alan moore first appeared in uk cool king tiger king tiger number one no not number one week three 
King Tiger Week 3 Dark Horse Comics World. Rebel Week 1 Dark Horse Comics World. If it's 25 cents Canadian as well, that's 50 <laughs> pence per comic. I've never seen anything that low. Uh, yeah. 15 pence UK, uh, 19 cents US, 25 cents Canadian. I don't know what it would be in Australian. Badger. Badger is a great, great character. I read, I've read, I believe, the original series. Uh, a lot of it actually like 20 issues or so 20 25 issues i really like the badger uh, i don't know if i still have it in my collection but badger is fantastic uh, too bad it's not around anymore i haven't read seen badger come up again did you collect uh of the sonic the hedgehog i wish i collected the original sonic the hedgehog series man i wish those were fun to collect as a kid i wish i wish even fall number one very cool right and a lot of number ones here cbgb om om fug oh my right it's 16 cents of euro for me never seen that in the street <laughs> and we saw this one already i believe you see how we saw that one already let me put this guy here too. Nice. The monarchy, number one. Oh, I got a couple of Boris the Bears. Knights of Old Comic. I got some Boris the I, at least a couple of Boris the Bears. The Eddie. CBGB, do you know the CBGB? What's the CBGB? Let's take a look at it. CBGB, Boomtown, and it's number one. I don't know CBGB. Came out in 2010. Punk Carol. Here's the artwork for it. All right. Oh, was it an old uh, punk rock club in New York? Ah, very cool. Was it? Birthplace of American punk. So Ramones were there. Yeah. It's an overpriced rocker clothing boutique uh, these days. Ah, oh, is it? I don't know. Oh, maybe I've heard about it. The Big Sleep won. I think I've seen this. Maybe it's a Tide. It is the Tide logo, so I don't know if it's the OMAC project. Very nice. Number one. Rec Vetch. He's a hell of a creator. Is he? This one, really. The one, number one Marvel. I don't know this one. Should we crack it open, take a look? And if any of these are worth a lot, let me know. I'll put them in bags and boards. Right. This one is graded to 4.5, but it looks great. Look at this. Love it. Love the artwork. <laughs> Very nice. When did this come out? 1985. Very cool. July 1985 from Epic Comics. Oh, Flaming Carrot is fantastic. I think the one was a five issue mini, was it? Cool. So, OMAC project number one Zero Girl, number three of five. Bore, there you go. You wanted Boris. Boris the bear, number 11. <laughs> Who wanted Boris? Who said Boris? Number 11. Gizmo 
and the Fugitoid, book one. I don't know this at all. 85 ends, not even a dent, so cool. No the Boris. No the Boris. Veil number one. Dark horse. Sorry, wrong oh yeah, wrong Boris. Wrong Boris. Not Boris the clown. Boris the bear. Not the UK Prime Minister. Victories number two. Victories number one. Very nice. We got a two issue run. Nice. And we saw the monarchy already. Superior. Snap. Snapshot. Number four of four. I think I got the whole thing. Number three of four. Gizmo on Fugito is good. Teenage Mutant Creation. Is it? nice crazy bro Athens how are you doing number two snapshot I haven't read this so it'd be cool maybe to read it oh where's number one I think I have number one somewhere I found it I'm pretty sure I found it smash mirror number one Avengers world war hark world war hark number five Avengers I don't know what that says. And I did pick up some Marvel in DC. <laughs> nice little emotes. Utopia. Number one. Dark Aries. Number one. Nice. Squadron Supreme. Hyperbian versus Nighthawk. Squadron Supreme I've read is pretty, pretty good. Really. I haven't read this one, but I read the original series. No, no, Faust. I do have uh, Tim Vigil's Faust, though. I have, I think it was a four inch issue mini run. And I have, uh, I have number one, two. I might have the whole run. Faust was cool. Hard pressed to find Vigil in 25 cent bins. Really? Vigil is which one? Visual, 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 word, visual, go. Doop, doop, doop. Oh, Tim Vigil. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hard. Yeah, Tim Vigil. I don't think you would find it there. If I found fast, Faust in the 25 cent bin, I'd be very, very excited. Sleeper and Brubaker, number one. Supreme Power, Night Hawk, number three. Hyperion number one. The max uh, imprint was pretty good. Okay. Number two. Hyperion number three. Number two. Yeah, Tim Vigil. I caught on a little bit late. Knights of War Comics. And we already saw this one. No, I haven't heard of uh, heard from Ripper, uh, Elder God. Samurai Cat. Cool. Again, Eclipse Comics or Epic Comics? Epic Comics. Nurture the Devil. Jeff Johnson. Exomp. DC Comics. Number one. Oops, I should show you the cover. Jinx, True Crime Con Confessions, number zero. What does that say? Sam Hubert. What does that say? I can't read that. Beam? I beam? 
how we were able to open up a comic book store. Gamma. Hulk. World War Hulk. Number two. Crucial fiction. Very cool. Fantagraphic. Seriously, Fantagraphic book. Number three, Crucial Fiction. Girl Talk. Nice. Fantagraphics again. Number two. Tales from the Outer Burrows. Fantagraphics. So if I saw Fantagraphic books, I grab them. That What number is that? That one's number... Two, volume one, number two. Some bad art, black and white indie books are becoming valuable. Power comics. Because they're rare. Tales from the Outer. Not everything rare should be. Oh, last one, number two. Awesome. We got number two, too. Crack. I'm going to put this one over there because we grabbed number one. Nice, nice. The last one. Two of six. Oh, look at this. Nice. So last one, two of six. Awesome. And then last one, three of six. So cover uh, issue number three. Yeah, fantagraphic stuff is always worth checking out. Nice. I got to put these ones uh, with the one we have here. Awesome. One, two, three. One, two, three. <laughs> right on, right on. Let's put this guy here. And then here's another one, Tales from the Burrows, Fantagraphics again. So any Fantagraphic books that I that I found, uh, I was mainly grabbing them, unless I knew I had them, right? I'm so relaxed now, 102 curries sold in last hour. <laughs> nice. Check this out. While I was going through the bins, okay, hey, where's the rest? Uh, where's the rest? Where's the rest? Let me find the rest of this. I'll show you what I, what is it I picked up. While I was going through the bins, you know, it's the bins. The slowly, they're you know, more spaces appearing because people are grabbing the books, right? What I, what the store owner did. He came by and dumped a whole bunch of books. I said, oh, what are those? He goes, Alan Moore. Oh, where's the last one? Oh, this is the last one, number one. Here's another copy of the last one, number one. <laughs> where's the rest of these? This was a full run I grabbed. Oh, here we go. Here it is. Check this out. Check this out. So there was a hole. So the comic book owner came by and just dropped a whole bunch of books. I go, oh, what are those guys? He goes, Alan Moore. I go, Alan Moore? Let me add it. <laughs> right? Cinema Purgatory, Purgatoria, number one. 25 cents a pop. They're like prestige format. It's a run. Number one. Okay. I grabbed two copies of number one because I know someone else that might want to read these. Okay, if they're legit, if it's not too heavy duty, I might give it to one of my students. Here's number two. Okay. 25 cents a pop. Cover price, $6 US. Like it's recent. These are mint condition. Here's a different version of number two. Okay. Oh, number 15. Hold on, let me put these in order. I think he had, uh, did he have the other ones? Anyway, I'm going to show you these ones. Let me put these in order. Well, that's okay. In order, it doesn't matter. I tried uh, binding comics myself into a hardcover graphic novel. The first attempt was with the series, the one. Oh, really? So great to put together a run in cheap bins. Nice score. Nice score. Here's number 15. Okay. Here's number 14. Here's number 11. Here's number 10. Here's number 9. Here's number 7. Here's number 8. 
Here's number three. So we've got one, two, three. I might have had, I think he had four, five in there too. Maybe not. And then back to number 15. So that's super cool, All right? And then you had the Cinema Purgatoria. I don't know what this one is. This is, it didn't have a number on it. Who's the artist? Let's check it out. Is it a different artist, all of them? Or there's a whole bunch of people. Like, check this out. Uh, here, let me pick up number one. That's number, oh, here's number one. Uh, Alan Moore and Kevin O'Neill for number one. Okay. Let's see if this is shiny, so I don't know if it's going to focus. Boop. There you go. Sort of. There you go. Also starring Garth Ennis and Raul Karras, Max Brooks, and my Michelle, whatever, Killian Dillian. Oh, I mean, seriously, Gillian. So there's a lot of great artists and writers on here. Yeah, you can't go wrong with this. Very nice, very nice. Oh, check these out. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at this. Adam and Eve, number one. Look at this. Look at this 1980s indie comic like fantastic kevin o'neill very nice he did some league of extraordinary gentlemen with more as well nice excellent thanks crack rover number two <laughs> i don't mean, i know <laughs> check this out hoodwick number 20. hoodwick number 21. some of these i've never seen before Oh man, amazing cover on that Adam and Eve. Yeah, crazy cover. Check this out, The Boys. Issue number seven. And if you haven't watched the series, watch the series. I think this is from the original run. I should bag and board these maybe. Oh, here's Supreme Power number four. I think I already had that one. All right. Here's another, I'm gonna put this. This is The Boys number seven. I had some other boys as well. Found a couple of other boys' issues as well. Right? Let me put this guy over here. Deal with him later. Here's another Boris. Boris the Bear, number 15. The comic crack is <laughs> nice on YouTube. I need to get on that TV series. You need to get on that TV series. Awesome. Do you guys want to look at inside this? Do you want to look inside this? Let's take a look inside this. Adam and Eve. Let's see what Adam and Eve are up to. If it goes against the terms of service uh, for Twitch, we won't, uh, we won't show it. There's got to be a couple of pages that doesn't. Look at this cover without the glare. Look at that. I've been watching your videos for nearly... Ah, oh, fantastic. Controller Z. You've been watching Cracks videos. Nice. This came out in 1985. Seriously. 80 quotes. Maybe we should add one of these. By the way, if there's any of these, if we're going through it, you guys want red? We could do a reading of, of them, right? onward into yesterday sci-fi fantastic this looks beautiful look at this ah elder god you already have a list look at that here let me bring it up close that looks great right Oh, look at this, Adam and Eve, sci-fi. 
with the snake. Let's see if this will focus. Come on, focus. It's like doing a reading, standing up. Very cool. Nice. Very happy to have this. Never seen it before. And I'm so glad a lot of other people were picking Marvels and DCs. <laughs> I was trying to get, oh, here, I'll show you. Here's Paper Girls number 14. Fantastic. Why not? Right? Paper Girls number 25. Nice. <laughs> no, Mario. <laughs> Books of Magic number one. This is from the series. It's not the prestige format mini series that came out. I believe this is the first issue of the series that kicked off from the prestige format. Again, Vertigo Comics. And the prestige format was fantastic. This should be Neil Gaiman. Is it still Neil Gaiman? No, the prestige format was Neil Gaiman. So issue number one of Books of Magic. Uh, there was no Mario. If there was Mario, I would have bought. Indeed, I would have bought. This one, Books of Magic, yeah. Check this out. Death, the time of the time of your life, number one. Right? Time of your life, number two. I haven't read the time of your life. I couldn't find number three. I couldn't find number three. This is one of two, two of three, and I couldn't find number three. If I found number three, I would have been crazy happy. You know what? I got to put this aside. I got to read this. This is Death, The High Cost of Living, and I have this. We did a reading of, we talked about this. We did a reading of Sandman number eight, the first appearance of Death, and this is Death, The High Cost of Living, number one, and number two, uh, sorry number three but i couldn't find number two i wanted to give this to my students uh, so i couldn't find number two maybe it's there somewhere but i couldn't find it oh there's another zero. Oh, look at this oh zero girl with sam keith check this out where was the other zero girl oh man it got buried oh well I'll show you zero girl when we get to it okay some fantastic books here considering they were 25 cents yeah spot of tea very happy please take it back Chicho. <laughs> which one what am i supposed to take back <laughs> i can't escape sandman at the moment i i and the uh, eye eating version frankenstein number one check this out Who's this by? Grant Morrison. What? What? Happiness. Nexus. Alien Justice. And Nexus is fantastic. One of the classic DC comic read. Oh, uh, sorry, Dark Horse comic reads. Uh, highly recommend. If you like sort of Supergirl, uh, Supergirl, uh, superpower, but sort of godlike, like Solar Man and the Atom, stuff like that nexus is fantastic really I, I can't remember who created nexus is it uh crack you might know this who uh, chalker is it Ch i can't remember who created nexus mystery in space number one jenny finn number two sigil number one as uh Catholic tradition would say eyes up, but it's a yin yang thing here. So, sidekick number one. Check this out. This looks super cool. Burn number one. Look at that from Arcana. Let's take a look inside. Indeed indeed camille the caro 2008 it came out 
Look at the artwork. Beautiful. I am off to Birmingham tomorrow. I'm going to visit the massive comic store there, Elder God. You got the bug in you now. Like seriously, fantastic, right? So much amazing reading here. The next. First issue. DC Comics. Nice artwork. It was nice artwork. Check this out. We got Sam Keith. We got Sam Keith. Zero Girl, Sam Keith. I think I showed a Zero Girl earlier. I don't know. Zero Girl, number one, Sam Keith. Very nice. Early Sam Keith. Homage Comics. Oh, no, not early Sam Keith. This is 2001. <laughs> I like Sam Keith. Sam Keith artwork is should be appreciated a lot more than it is by some. Right? So Zero Girl number four. I think I have this run. Crossing Midnight number one vertical. This is very cool. The Moth, Rocket Comics. Welcome to the circus. I should show you the whole thing. Century number three. Three of eight. I think I got number one here. Two of eight. One of eight. Very nice. We got a three issue run where we can read. Luma number two. Oh, someone mentioned if uh, this writer, this creator, artist earlier, I don't know who it was. You, 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 Rusi Yatura Luma number two. Very cool. There was some nice manga there. Books of Magic number two. Nice. This is the annual. <laughs> Look at this. I have to get this. Mushrooms. Zero. Number 16. I don't know this. Isn't the moth moniker taken by the creator of the tick? Is it? The moth. Oh, the moth was, uh, was a character for sure. Uh, but I don't think that's the same. Where should I put it? Got buried. Zero. Number 15. So zero number. So this is zero number 15. That's zero number 16. So zero number 15. What is zero? I'd like to know. Here's, oops, touching the mic. Sorry about that. Zero number 13. That might have given you guys some static noise. George Alec Effinger. Number one, they put felt mark here. So, yeah, the minimalist covers, like the mushroom cover, was really cool. The saintless, saintless stealing rat. Number one cool Nathaniel Dusk Utanis Epic Comics Alan Moore again Providence I saw that one Oh, nice. Nice. I knew I got some more. Oh, I'll show you this. Nice. Let's show you these guys. Firebrand number one. 
controller zen you uh, picked up a bunch of stuff i've never heard of amazing the variety and amazing really i've never heard of some of these either and this uh comic book owner is he also does independent comic he's got his own comic book that he puts out and he appreciates independent comics so he had he has comic books that they you you'd be hard to find anywhere else right so I was very, and I went up to him and said, oh my God, you got some amazing independent comic books here. Indies, he's like, yep. Firebrand. Forever People, number one. This isn't the original. This is the Forever People that came up later, right? I think last 10 years or something. Very cool controller. Ghost Dancing, number two. Ghost Dancing number one. I should read this too. Who did this? Oh, Jamie Delano. Ooh, okay, I'm going to put this one aside. The indie comic shop in New York is still closed. Pretty bomb, right? So that's number one and number two. So we're going to put this on the side. Check this out. More Forgotten Realms. Very nice. Forgotten Realms number 13. The new series from Image, it's pretty good. Number 15, I've read a couple of issues of it. Number 16. Number 17. Number 18, nice run. Number 19. Oh, we're missing number 20, here's number 21. Right. Fantastic. Nice. This I don't know. Oh, awesome. Barrier number one five. Barrier number one. It just came out recently, in the last couple of years, last year or so. And it's by uh Brian K. Vaughn, same person as Paper Girls and whatnot, right? So fantastic. Yeah. Here's number three. It didn't have number two. And here's number five, I believe. Yeah, number five. Cool. Here's one more of the number 11, Xenon. I should try to go through this and put them all together. Thunderbolt. Number two. Number four. Number five. The unwritten apocalypse vertical number one inferno number one Sh shurkin number seven victory comics cool no no akira i wish i got my hands on some akira man that would have been amazing just imagine if there was an akira run in there You'd have some other people jumping in. Okay, this is too heavy for me to hold out like that. Let's do it this way. Jink. Sebastiano. I read uh, this when it first came out. I'm going to read it again. I didn't like it too much at the time. So this is number one of two. Two of, oh, sorry, one of three, two of three and three of three so he had to run there so i'm going to put this one aside too oh here's another vertical jam number one i should give this one to my students i don't know if it's uh, you know what i'm going to put this one aside i'll probably read through it to make sure it's okay for uh maybe kid friendly i guess maybe not uniforce carpenter number five 
Let me start jinx already. Yeah, with the epic coloring. Down. Warren Ellis, number one. All right. And very, like, this is a great copy. Like, look at this. All right. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. I got to put those aside and read it. Here is... Uh, the gray area, number one. Yeah, a comic I hated as a 20 year old. Now nah, I love as a 40, 40 plus man. Gray area, number one. And who's this by? Oh, Brunswick. Wow. Is there tape? No, no, it's not. It's just prestige format. Like, seriously. Doop. Right? Number two, number three. There's a lot of just a few issue runs, which is something I love doing right now. It's just reading randoms. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Porta print eclipse number one. So cool. I started to go to the trade paperback route with collecting. Unfortunately, it means I miss out on all the great covers. Yeah, check this out. This one came out. Check it out. This one came out 86. Look at the art on this. Oh, this is a... Uh... Oh wow, this is Elf Quest guys. Elf Quest people, Windy and Richard Penny. I believe so anyway. This is the people that put Elf Quest together. 1986. Oh, I got a bag on board this. Look at that. I believe so. I don't know if Crack's still here. I think uh, Windy and Richard uh, Penny are Elf Quest up here, right? Oh, yeah, I gotta put this. Here's number two and number three. <laughs> nice. So here's number one. All right. Number two. It's gotta be. Number three. Spot of the Show. I'm gonna have to go now because there's a Ubisoft event starting. Catch you in the next. Catch you in the next one, Spot of Tea. Thanks for popping by. I'm glad you're liking these comic book uh streams 86 and still has white days so cool and sitting in a 25 cent bin right i'm gonna put this one aside very cool check out some other indies uh eclipse stings inferno yeah they are the elf quest people awesome controllers then just google it fantastic like, like i can't see too many of those being around Eclipse again, New America, number one. Check this one out, Black Star, number two. Yeah, 1986 was iconic. Mid-1980s was fantastic. Night Vision. <laughs> nice. World's Finest, number one. <laughs> 25 cents. Chival Noir, number eight. Stalker, number one. Very nice. Epic. Strangers in Paradise, number 12, Abstract Studios. No, there was no bad. Oh, yeah, there was. There was this one. I'll show it to you once we go through this. Mist 
Dark Horse. Number one. Here's the Batman one. World's finest. <laughs> Trump issue. <gasps> Missed comic? Yeah. Let's see. I believe so. What was the mist? Mist, yeah. Book one. Is this good, dragons? The book of the black ships. Featuring characters from the best selling interactive game. Oh, I didn't know this was a game. Surprised they had a comic of the PC game. Is it a PC game? This came out. Let's find out when this came out. Nineteen ninety-seven. Crazy. I okay missed as a kid. Really? Cool. I never played this game. I don't know it at all. Oh, the bag is not bad. We'll keep it in the same bag. What's the artwork like? Let's check out the artwork. Oh, cool artwork. Look at this. Is that what the game was like? Check out the artwork. Chicho overtime? Are we overtime? Oh my, we are overtime. <laughs> we We've gone through half the box. What do we do, gang? What do we do? Should we... Uh, should we put a pause in this? I'll show you these ones. You guys, you guys tell me what to do. We pause this and then we can do a surprise stream on another day and we go through the rest. Mutant Chronicles. The game was first person set in that island on the cover. Ah, that's cool. Miss was one of the early games that drove CD-ROM sales. Really? <laughs> so it must be huge. Black Hood. I've actually read this one. Or low-hanging fruit for the next set. Yeah. Black Lightning, number one. Year one crossed, not for kids. Cross number two, 100. This is Alan Moore. Lark, how are you doing? Number three. Oh, we got another one Dark Shadows. We could go through this box, probably take us another 20 minutes or so. Do you guys want to do that? Let's have a look. Okay, we'll go through this box, finish off this box, and then we're going to have those ones we do at another time, right? So, oops, take a look. Those two we do at another time. That way we've sort of semi organized. Lark, how are you doing? Underworld, number one. OMAC, number one. Melody number four, the true story of a new dancer. Kitchen sink, ha ha ha, kitchen sink, kitchen sink comics. Awesome, kitchen sink is always worth having. Wow, what a haul, your collection must be huge. It's, it's uh, largish, I think. Oh yeah, no, this is not safe for, nope. Oh, very cool. I gotta put this in a bag and board. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Adult comic. Uh, yeah, we'll put this in a bag and board. Moondog. What number is this? Moondog. Our <laughs> times four. <laughs> Mm. 
Myron Moose, number two. Check, check this out. He had a $15 cover charge on it. Or a cover charge uh, price tag on it. Adult comic, yeah. Idiot Land. Doug Allen. That's a cool cover. Very Basil, wow. Simple Basil Wolverton style. Idiot Land number five. Very cool. Who's the publisher on this? Make sure. Oh, this is Fantagraphics. Awesome. Awesome. Fantagraphics. Can't beat Fantagraphics. Well, you can, but depends on the comic. But always good to have in your collection. Idiot Land number 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 six. Very nice. Idiot Land number number number. What number is this? Where is the number? I can't even see the number. Where is the number? Number seven. There it is. It's not a number. It's written. Number seven. And we saw that one already. Oh, here's another one. Barrier number four. I'll put this with the other barriers. We have number one, two, three, and here's number four. Okay, I'm gonna do this so it doesn't fall over. I'll show you that little green dinosaur the adventures of the little green dinosaur check this out what an indie comic wow very cool don't know this at all i don't even know who did it adults only it says adults only check this out this is all sort of a run okay countdown 48 so this is the new 52 i believe huh? 48 45 the world of the stream in the 44 43 42 that kitty prime 40 39 30 31 32 and back to 48 beautiful this over a more. final crisis 2 final crisis 3 Grant Morrison. Oh, here's another mystery in space number one. Is this this is Jim Starlin? Check this out. Jim Starlin, Shane Davis, right? We got two of these, so I'm gonna put this aside. If it's friendly, oh, kid friendly, Final Crisis, yeah. I wish the big two would push more of their lesser known care. Yeah, control is that, I agree. Fade Grace, Fade from Grace, number two. Jonas, Tales of an Iron Star, number two. Number three, this is total indie, okay. I'm looking on eBay for some of the, these books. Can you find them, Spider-Man? number four All right i couldn't find number one of this unfortunately number one con co pizza oops oh 
Omega Man. I always, I've read the whole series of Omega Man a long time ago. Fantastic. One of the best space, uh, what do you call it, operas ever. Like, it's a great space uh, comic book read. And Lobo makes his first appearance in Omega Man number three, right? Fantastic. The Ballad of Sleeping Beauty. Steel Grip Starsky. Number one, Epic Comics. Thank you, Spider Cap, for the follow. Firestorm was one of my favorite DC second string. Yeah, I love Firestorm as well. Scavenger Unleashed. Number five. Eclipse Comics Scout. Number 20. Scout. Number 21. Shock Rockets. Image. Number six. Number four. It's cool that they feature Firestorm in DC shows. Yeah. Number three. Number one. Very cool. That's a run. Sort of. There's one gap in there, I think. And then back to that. Mai's Roth, number one, from North Star. Mystic Edge. Oops, let me show it to you. Sorry about that. Mystic Edge. <laughs> number one. The Authority. Haha. <laughs> Grant Morrison. What is your number? Number one. The Authority, number one. I need to read this one. I finally read a Bloodshot comic. I was sad, suddenly confused with the Vin Diesel movie. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> Sam Key, Batman Ca Cacophony. Sam Key, Batman Cacophony. Number three. Number two, tell me number one. Oh, we don't have number one. Too bad. Too bad. Check a look at this. Spitfire, number one. New Universe, Marvel. The Ray, this is a great series. This is a great series. And the Ray number one was fetching a pretty heavy price in the early 1990s. Joe Casadia, Casada, Joe Casada artwork. One of his first pieces uh, for DC. Kicker. Number one, Kicker Inc. Number one, Comet. These are fun, simple. Comet number one, Impact Comics. And what do we got here? NFL Super Pro number three. Midnight Eve, Wiz Premier Comics, number five. Netali, number one. Metacops, Metacops cops number two i don't know what number that one this one is oh this is number three sorry so this one's number three here's number two oops here's number two and here's number one awesome i'm gonna read these or put them aside so one two three so one Two, three. Nice. Three issue run. Oh, I do have Predator number one, Elder God. 
I have some Predator comics. And I have the original Predator number one, two, three, four from Dark Horse. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. Mermaid Mask. Merlin Realm. That looks super cool. 3D, it says. Let's check it out. Oh, it is a 3D comic. Look at this. It's a 3D comic. What? When did this come out? Black Thorn Publishing. 1985. Wow, trippy. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, here's another one of the... Where was that? accidentally topple it NFL Super Pro number one with Spider-Man and you have the glasses <laughs> Mr. Hero Neil Gaiman I read the first few issues of this this is number six this is number seven Leonard Nimoy Leonard Nimoy no Neil Gaiman Mr. Hero number seven number eight Check this out. The Silent Invasion number two. Pretty cool cover. Siphons Now Publishing number two. Very cool. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Take this one out. Division 13 number or week one. Mr. Hero number two, excellent. Number four, very nice. Wonderlust. So this is Wonderlust number two. Here's Wonderlust number three. Wonderlust number four. rush hour phase rumble girls silky warrior tensi shot colors number one dr cyborg number two wow look at that We need a clip. We need we need to change our sub little gif. Vandale. Number three. The power company. Number two. Power company number one. Nice. Oh, this looks great. Rumble Girl. I think this is number one. This is number one. Rumble Girl Silky Warrior Tail. Tansy number one. Here's number two. Very cool. One, two, and we have number three. Didn't we? Where is it? There it is. Here's number three. Might as well put them together. Excellent. Rumble Girl, one, two, three. Very nice. Let's put this aside. I'll give it a read. It's indie. Doom Patrol Show is the best DC offering in my opinion. It's fantastic. Doom Patrol is really good. Blood Seat number one. Blood Seat number one. Frontier Comics, Marvel. Children of the Voyager. We saw this one, did we? Rush Hour. We're getting close. We're getting close. Ani. Number two and number one. Very nice. And it's from Ani Publishing. That's cool. 
Let's put them like this. Oh, we had another siphons. Siphons number five. Cool. Now comics. Siphons number two. Cool. Siphons number four. Cool. Zen preview. I read some of the original stuff of this. And the Zen story is crazy. It was someone that needed to get money and they got their son to be able to uh, publish and stuff. Zen intergalactic warrior. T bots. Number four. Number three. DMZ. Fantastic series. Demilitarized zone. If you haven't read this, read it. Brian Wood. Super good. Super good. I haven't finished the series, but it's a really good read. Highly recommended. Okay. I've read about half the series. Very, very good. Siphons number six. Nice. And then there's Ani. So I've, there's another siphons we had. I don't know if we had the number one or not. I love a mystery. The fear that crept like a cat. Moonshine. $11 comic for 25 cents. Look at this. Not bad. Maybe we'll put it aside for reading. Ernie. Evil Ernie. Straight to hell. Number four from Chaos Comics. It's the only Eva Ernie I came across. Was it? Oh, Controller Zen. Was it? That's cool. T-Bots, number one. Oh, we have T-Bots already. Number one. I think that makes a run. Oh, here it is. T-Bots, number two. Very cool. Look at this one. David Laffan, Mur Murder Me Dead. Awesome. Right? That's like serious cover. That's like an EC cover with uh, the hanging cover. Look at that. Very cool. Issue number nine. And David Laffam is fantastic. Stray bullets, right? Very cool. Crossed 100. Not for kids. Not for kids. Commandy Challenge. Very cool. Commandy Challenge was interesting. Each, uh, there were our creators put together uh, for 12 issue run and they told a different story of Kamandi. So they're, I don't think they're supposed to be connected. I'll put this aside, maybe have it a read. I got a stack of reading now to do. Check it out. The Book of Fate. Oh, there's a whole bunch of lost stories here. I'll put all the lost souls. There's one more here. Nice. Lost Souls. The Book of Lost Souls. Who wrote this? Michael Strotanowski. I forget. I can't pronounce his name. Oh. Crossed. Not for kids. This is number two. Cross 100. Number two. Ah, oh, nice. Here's another David Laffan one. Murder Me Dead. This is number seven. Here's another one. Murdered Me Dead. Number eight. Lost Souls, number one. Very cool. So let me put this over here. Where's the other Lost Souls? There it is. Oh, yeah, there it is. So Lost Souls, number one. Lost Souls, number two. Lost Souls number three from Icon Comics. Lost Souls number four. Lost Souls number six. All right. We don't have number five, unfortunately. This is the last stack for this box. Echo. Image Comics, Volume 1, 
chapter one. And this isn't the same echo as Terry Moore, it's a different echo. Nocturnal, nocturnal, nocturnals, nocturnals. Number one from Ani. Legend lore from Caliber, very nice. Number one. Oh, here's another last one. We got three copies of the last one. Crazy. Ah, Savage Dragons, number one. We got two copies of this now. Happy number four. Or sorry, happy number three. Very nice. I'm happy. The TV series Happy was fantastic. Elder God. If you haven't seen the Happy TV series, watch it. Don't worry about the purple dragon flying around. It just watch it. So good. Not really living up to its name. No. <laughs> happy is not happy. Grand passion number one. Dynamite. Number one. Warren Ellis. Black Cross. Oh, I wish they would make a Savage Dragon TV show too. Foxfire, number one. Very cool. Right. Echo number two. Nice. Which one was the other echo? Echo number two. Oh, you were referring to the last one. <laughs> yeah, that's not the last one. <laughs> yeah. There's three of them. What am I doing? Dead Enders, number one. Very cool. Vertigo. Who wrote this? Brubaker. Very cool. Mike Danger. Ha <laughs> ha. And here's the echo. Cool. What was the other one we had? Echo two. Oh, here's number one. So we got Echo one and two. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So that's for that box, gang. How are we doing for time? We went two and a half hours. So that one will probably take us two hours, the two boxes here that we see. So we'll set up another stream and we'll go through that as well. Uh, maybe by that time I'll get a chance to read some of these that I pulled out. I don't know. <laughs> I got a lot of reading to do. I got a lot of reading to do. Fantastic. So what do you think about my comic book haul? And the CGC haul, of course. And the CGC haul, of course. One of the most expensive comics I bought, right? 160 US, $210 Canadian. CGC Brenda Star from 1949, right? And some of the cheapest comics, least expensive. I wouldn't would call them cheap, but the least expensive comics I've ever bought for 25 cents a pop canadian 19 cents controllers and very cool chicho thank you my pleasure man fantastic it was i was so excited when i was going through the boxes i'm like going man i'm gonna do a comic i'm gonna do a, a comic book live stream on this for sure so gang thank you for being here i think it was a crime story the last one was it the last one was a crime story I'll have a. I pull, pulled it out. Uh, Crack said it was a really good read. Neat finds, Chicho. Very. I loved it. Love all the indie stuff. Oh, the Brenda Starr one. Yeah, he was. A, she was a journalist. That. Um, I think it was mainly crime. I can't remember. I read up on it, uh, and it's. I've been on. My, it's been. It's been on my radar a little bit, but once it came up from the seller, a Canadian seller, of course, uh, I pulled the trigger on it, right gang tomorrow from 2 30 p.m to 4 30 p.m we're doing a mathematics our first this year school year starting math live stream okay drop in tutoring session very cool stream cool gg nursen greetings from germany greetings germany how are you doing thank you have a great day you guys as well gang so we're going to do mathematics tomorrow uh my my hands are <laughs> because of the comic books <laughs> newspaper print right uh, mathematics tomorrow current events uh saturday 
and um, Saturday evening at 8 p.m. and uh, investing in personal finance on Sunday evening okay Kathy she says have you had enough time since the last mass stream to become a topology <laughs> I know I'm not even close <laughs> I gotta I gotta brush up on my linear algebra though I need to relearn that I got a feeling one of my students that graduated last year they just contacted me they're in college and they need help with math and he was going into programming so I'm assuming it's linear algebra that he's having problems with so I'm gonna pull down my linear algebra book and if it is linear algebra we might start doing live streams of me relearning linear algebra through the book that I had and we'll go through it together because I like the student a lot I think he needs help if he needs help I'm willing to put it in and relearn it I think anyway so, so we're about to pop in to say awesome gang if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work we're on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything is Creative Commons. Share and share alike. Linear algebra, so much fun, so much fun in linear algebra. Totally meditative, totally meditative. Great subject. I loved linear algebra, by the way. I taught it to myself. I didn't. I I took a course that needed linear algebra that I didn't have linear algebra, determinants and matrices. So I learned linear algebra through this book, and then was able to do multiple integral course it was a crazy applied mathematics okay so if you want to follow this work you want to support this work patreon is a fantastic way to do so okay the numbers all work out <laughs> they should anyway we do live stream we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat that's popping up here twitch is where you want to be at and gang mods thank you for taking care of business uh, those of you who follow who subscribe thank you for the follows thank you for the subscribe and those of you on patreon thank you for the support on patreon it is because of your support that we're able to do this i do announce these live streams on lo minds vk gab parlor and twitter for now if you want to follow this work those platforms we do share certain information uh, less so than we do on sort of well sort of I sort of switch between all of them and we do have a discord page and I do share a fair bit of info that I go through on discord and you can find a discord link in the description of this video or this live stream or if you do apostrophe or exclamation mark discord discord boop, the little link will pop up if you want to join okay uh, for live streams that we don't have any visuals when we're recording a lapel mic we do upload the audio to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as podcast and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform as well and we will be uploading this video to bitshoot and youtube and you can support this work by following sharing liking commenting and if you're on youtube you can support this work by joining youtube membership gang we went over time but i think it was well worth it some great comics thank you for the info i gotta look up some of these comics on online just to see what they are and what not elder god thank you and um see see what we ended up getting maybe i'll pause the video go through it and check everything up right uh gang aside from that if you can make it mathematics tomorrow let's do a little mathematics politics saturday personal finance investing on sunday and we're doing something else on oh we're doing a comic book reading next to wednesday i believe okay bye everyone i'll see you guys tomorrow if you can make it